Has he bricked? <laughs> Has he gotten over the bricks? Are you kidding me? Dually book. I brick three games in a row. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> if this goes in time, who gets the money? Uh, me, smiley face. <laughs> There is no time, don't you worry, boys. Ooh, Garuda. Scales Garuda. Garuda is, is that weak bad? Here. It's that is a, uh, yeah, it's a scale four. So unless you can make an electromite free pendulum summon, that Garuda's rather weak in that scale. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. He's got the dark arm, so that Garuda will be getting popped. That's the pendulum so Exodia, boys. That is the pendulum Exodia. Call dark worm. Triff Gaming starting up strong here. It's starting what up is, decently well. What is, what is signature two card combo? The two card Pen combo. Worm. Playing forty five cards to maximize the chance of opening that combo, of course. Smile. Adding <laughs> harmonizing, of course. And, everyone, and... everyone in the chat wants you to remove the poll, by the way. <laughs> I do nothing wrong, and I top deck the low skill and open three failures. <laughs> Adding the zero here. Remove and... the poll. Yep. Sure. Smile. It's a, it's 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 basically fifty fifty. It's, it's pretty much fifty fifty. This is curl. One hundred fifty one for point three percent edge to Tafen. Oh, it just jumped to one percent. Okay, the numbers are changing though. Damn. So we got a lure. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's uh, let's just put it down to fifty fifty. Uh, it really is anyone's game. Let's we'll see how it goes. Despite going second here, Typhoon might be able to pull something out depending on what kind of hand traps he's seen. But damn, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna lie, man. I feel like Triff just gets my vote here. He's got the pen, he's got the call Exodia. Yeah. And yeah, it's his... going first game seven with pen call Dark Rump. This does put Triff in the lead. In the eyes of the spectator. <clears throat> Think on <clears throat> vanish. Well he's not gonna banish Kate Zero. <laughs> As a loyal user for two years, I demand an explanation. My name is Stephen J. Trifonofsky, and I am a YouTuber that promotes the well-being of your platform. <laughs> oh god, the copy passes are going out of control. Uh, I think on banish. <clears throat> Banishing the gate zero here? Maybe. Did say think after he banished it. Oh my god, the chat is just unreadable. Wow, you guys are crazy. Chat popping off. Chat popping off with the copy pasta. One thousand one hundred people here copy pasting. There is no chat experience right now. <laughs> My chat experience feels bad, man. Pepe hands. <laughs> No one will see that my dad beats me. I saw it. I saw your message. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's more viewers than both of the Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments on today had. You correct? A full Yu-Gi-Oh tournament taking place, and uh, oh, people you, instead want to see trip. Drama. Yeah, they want some drama. <clears throat> Yo, stream. Can we can we relax with the coffee pasta? <laughs> do I do I need to put it in slow mode for like a minute? Come on, stream. You've, you've had your fun. <laughs> Everybody relax. Force an H. <clears throat> or force an W, rather. Normal summons, harmonizing magician, links both into Electromite, question mark. This is technically more of a premier Take event. Take boxes. This is technically more of a premier event than uh, the PPG and car card market series. Oh, he's taking back the harm. Triff saying, you took back a few, this is my one take back. Ooh. i gonna let him do for her, I assume. <clears throat> She's some good sportsmanship here. Typhoon is okay with it. <clears throat> uh, Triff Gaming donates £3. I'm trying to get laid tonight. Give me good luck. Yeah, I, I know that's not Triff donating, but... uh. <laughs> Donate so you can win uh, it back, or just give it to Typhoon. <laughs> Oh, oh, slams down the no. gamma. Slams down the that, gamma. That means the Garuda stuck in the stuck in. Oh, he drew a driver. Oh. The son of a driver from his hand. This oh, is no. anyone's game. This is anyone's game. This is crazy. This is crazy. Here we Trish, go, boys. Trish stuck with the four scale, but Typhoon had to summon this. driver from his hand. So we know that Triff has a harmonizing in the hand, but she can't pendulum summon at all because of the Garuda in a scale. This is crazy. That harm is gonna be his eight scale. Yep. He's going to be able to pen summon the chrono from the extra. 
And then maybe something from his hand. We will see, I guess. Maybe he's hard drawn a jackal. jackal. Yeah. But Typhon's going to be on four cards, and that's a bit unfortunate. Not enough, really, with Pendulum, depending on what he's drawn. Maybe he's got some kind of discard. Uh, maybe sorry. he has Pen called Dark Worm maybe as well. Maybe he's got called Dark Worm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Drawing uh, the driver in 45 cards. Triff donated three pounds. Are you kidding me? Dueling book as a loyal user for two years. I demand the next. Yep, thank you. Thank you for the for, for that donation. Price pulls at 157. Guys, stream. I would kindly ask that you try and donate and get a sick prize pool because it really is anyone's game right now. Who is it going to go towards? Triff or Typhoon? 157 in the prize pool. Now, can we hit 200 by the end of the game? <clears throat> Go, go, no coaching. Oh, is, Tri is Typhoon accusing him of coaching? <laughs> the accusation's coming out here. <clears throat> really... Wouldn't put it past him. Triff did want Gabe in the stream. Yeah, one, so... do one donate equals uh, one angry email. <laughs> so what low skill did he add off pen call? <clears throat> Anyone know? Or what other card did he add off pen call? Uh, so right Triff. now, in his hand, we don't know anything except the thing he added off pen call. Yeah, Triff. Yeah, Stream, what did he add off the pen call? It was harmonizing plus what? It must have been a low skill, I guess, right? Maybe mm -hmm. not. I'm not sure. Uh, it was off Dragon. Okay, so oh, Dragon. currently he's able to pen summon Chronograph plus off that we know of. Uh, we I think we know he has another harmonizing in his hand. That, no, wait, no, he just scaled it. So... So yeah. I see a rank six. Does he play Norito? Typhoon. Um, uh, no, Triff. Does Triff play Norito? Triff. Uh, Triff's rank six. Is... Ooh, yeah, he does. He does. He does. He's also hard on the Zafrani we hear. Uh, okay. Uh, he's gonna get himself in a gate. Um, so he can either make Norito or like link away the Zafrani we and set a divine strike. Um, fact, making Norito doesn't work because of the divine strike, right? Like it's pointless, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. You, you do one or the other. Uh, Narito also needs spellcasters, actually. And yeah. Oh, Zafrani's right. a worm, so... So yeah. it's just going to be a link summon into a set Divine Strike pass. So, I don't know. I doubt Triff has the resources to make a Bardish. Uh, Phoenix is a link, too, I guess, that he plays. He doesn't run Land for Linkus. Maybe just Underclock Taker. But he definitely needs to try and get the okay, Zafrani off the He has no searching. I thought he had an Oath Dragon in his hand. He could have Pendulum summoned that as well. But okay, normal know. summons the boots. Okay, so he has. he's going to have Fogblade and Divine, uh, Divine Strike. Strike. That is still two negates through the Gamma. And Tiffin wow. lost the driver from his hand. T Tr Triff is doing really well here, despite the clutch uh, Gamma on the uh, Electromite. This is, and uh, he gets to make the Bardish, actually. So he's going to have two Fogblades and Divine Strike. Double Fogblade, Divine Strike, two cards left in hand. Probably hand traps of sorts. This is maybe to, maybe double fog with actually. I don't think he plays another phantom. Just, I think he only plays one boot. Yeah, he only plays the one boot, so it's just going to be one fog blade plus the divine strike. Okay. Typhoon Let's see if Typhoon's hand is strong enough to push through this with only Pen four cards. Call dark worm. Pen call dark <clears throat> worm. Let's go, boys. You would probably have to include those two cards. <laughs> yeah, Typhoon's going to need a really really powerful. Um, Starter cards here for for this to go through. He's gonna need a turbo card. <clears throat> Error in the check end baited by the free subscription. Look at those baits. If anyone wants a free subscription, uh, you know, use your Twitch Prime. It's free. Smile. Smile. Ah, <clears throat> uh, who timed that out? <laughs> uh. Typhoon's having a think here, analyzing his situation. You this know, it's never tough. good when you have to wait this long. <clears throat> so in Triff's hand, I believe we know it's a dragon. We're going to start with dark normal worm. summon dark worm. That's not good. That is Triff not a good just, play. Triff may just shotgun in the gate here. To like drop to bribe Tiffin of cards. Yeah, I don't think it would be that awful at all. Def um, definitely not a bad play. <clears throat> the score is three three stream. It is three three. Hmm. <sighs>
<clears throat> chat is going wild right now. Yeah, can you guys relax? Like the debates. Come on, how are you falling for it? <clears throat> Rematch win. Oh, I don't know about a rematch, but this is uh, this is your three three right here. Typhoon. Uh, no, Triff is uh, thinking if he's going to use this uh, negate on Dark Worm. As in Triff asking Gabe whether or not he should negate Smile. <laughs> I don't get this other coffee pasta that's going on. Oh no, Triff, he has a gamma. Oh no, he has air pods and he can't hear us. Oh no, fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's like a a meme, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the one. It was like, oh no, he has yeah. air pods and Gumblar, watch out, it's the ban list. <laughs> 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 All right, Triff's going to let that go through. He adds the zero to his hand. Activate <clears throat> zero. Let's see if that resolves. Scales harmonizing. Zero. Scales harmonizing magician. Is he gonna negate this? Probably not. I think he's okay to just let this go through, and then he typhoon is probably. Uh, typhoon having no turbo cards here. Yeah, I mean he's in his hand. I don't know. He probably has a. Uh... Drawing that driver has definitely cost him. He's yeah. just got low scales in his hands, right? It must be, um, or like the jackal. Zephrani is hard drawn. Zephrani is good. Uh, Zephraxaton. And Zephraxaton. Okay, That's quite okay. hard. Uh, That's not very good. Yep. Target another Telnite Zephyr and your monster or Pendulum and set one card. Your opponent controls so, to pop them. Yeah. Zephraxaton so is going to be able to beat it out. That's cool. Yep. Uh, Triff might just have to um, force a Divine Strike on this, destroying the Zephraxaton. Zephrani is going to get the... Uh, Divine Strike or Providence to his hand, most yeah. likely the Providence. And then Typhoon is, um, well, he can't really deal with the Bardish, I think, if uh, he chooses to negate here. The issue with this is that in Trift's deck, even if you do deal with the Bardish, the threat of that Fogblade bringing it back for the free zone does just apply a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's looking pretty favorable in Trift's side right now, I think. Although Trift doesn't have quite good scales and yes. his extra deck doesn't have the highest quality of cards either yeah scales are rather poor both players not really opening super well or in too or or not and not being in a too good of a position either so might see a bit of a grind well, game here for the last match of the series 1200 viewers by the way Poggers. well triff triff did open pen call dark room it just got gamut <clears throat> yeah so, yeah so, I, yeah i suppose uh Divine Strike. Dragon the Divine Strike on the Zephraxaton. Okay. So Zephrana we will still get to resolve. So that last card is indeed the Fog Blade, which will likely just get used on the Electromite, maybe. More than likely. Typhoon might might just choose not to use the go for the Electromite here. It seems like it could You will have to link you will have to link away that Zephrana to turn his Divine Strike on. Well he doesn't have to because there's a Zephraxaton extract now, but Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So I guess he could just pass after using the It seems Providence. like kind of a waste to just throw your Electromite into a Fog Blade for no real reason. Triff is uh, in a pretty decent spot. His skills aren't that great, but... Yeah, he's only able to Pendulum summon a Chronograph right now with an Oath Dragon in his hand. That would give him a rank 6 access. Yeah, he's uh, going to be able to apply a lot of pressure next turn, and... Might just uh, be too much for Typhon to come back from, but see how it goes. See what this uh, Divine Strike can do. If it's enough to protect him. <clears throat> Triff, uh, can you like join the waiting room or something on Discord just so we can easily access you when you're uh, when you're done? See if Tefin decides to go for the Electromite play or not. His extra deck is, uh, yeah, it's just Land for Linkus and Electromite for Linkus. Most likely, 
going for... Yep, Trish not does end up passing. Sorry, it's... Typhon ends up passing, T rather. Typhon passes. Okay, Typhon passes. Uh, the Divine Strike is uh, live. So there's a Fraxiton. Zafrani's just going to be sitting there as a big wall. Not really much... Yeah, you shouldn't uh, disrespect the Zafrani in defense. I mean... Triff doesn't have it's a lot a of resources. Point. Currently can't out it. Yeah, he currently doesn't have an out to this defense position, Zafrani, but it really favors Typhoon at the moment to go for a grind game and to keep trying to prolong this match as long as possible. Triff wants to capitalize on his opening and capitalize on the fact that Typhoon hasn't been able to uh, do much uh, for uh, despite stopping the Electromite. Two cards in hand. Garuda in the scale is really what's crippling Triff's ability to push and apply a lot of pressure here. Didn't play around Mech Knight's Baby Rage indeed. <clears throat> We've got a Russian version of the Triff copy pass that seems. <laughs> That's gonna leave real quick. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, don't unban people. Ban a six <laughs> month subscriber. <laughs> Are people perma banning? God. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> <clears throat> Sweet to see what Triff wants to do now. I really just uh, don't know how this is going to go, honestly. Yeah, I, this could I, go either way at this point. Depends on what uh, Triff draws at this point. If Triff can draw something powerful, I mean, maybe he can, like, clear the board of sorts, but Typhoon's not completely out of it. He does have a Providence in the Grave to keep his uh, Zafrani on the field if he if he so chooses to. So we're going to pen summon that Chronograph. Yeah, he does have Oath in his hand still. He cannot pen summon those other any of those cards out of ex his extra deck right now. Yeah. Garuda is skill four. As a friend who did get banished for Divine Strike, so he did lose one monster for his pendulum summon two. Chronograph and the Bardish are going to be uh, decent enough pressure on their own, but the Zafrani is protecting Typhoon from being on a clock. So. I believe Norito is able to kill Zafrani if he does opt to. That way in the play. Mm, 27. Yes, indeed. It is 100 over. He also has harmonizing in the scale, so he does have 100 boosts. Um, True. Not seeing if it's relevant for anything right now. I don't think so. Tefin does not have any magicians in his extent. One harm to boost. <clears throat> Triff is still figuring out whether or not his pendulum summon is complete. So yeah, this is pretty slow play. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's, he, he is definitely just getting coached. Smiley, <laughs> smiley face. It's uh, is game seven, and they've been going at this for almost two hours. And... Yep. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone just wants us to end at this point. <laughs> We've given it. We, uh, I think it's fine. Um, we we want to give them as much time as possible because in the end, like no one wants to throw away uh, the match after like playing for this long and playing this many matches. But Triff, uh... it's like a five minute pen summon at this point. Yeah, you should probably finish up your pen summon by now, Triff. <laughs> <sighs> I was gonna put Farfa, it... are you kidding me? I <laughs> okay, the well -being. There we go. The pen summon is done. And so he's so... not opting not to go for the Norito play. I think he should have went for Norito. Wants to save that Oath Dragon in his hand, I guess. Unless he doesn't have the Oath Dragon, question mark. I'm pretty sure he had it with pen call, turn one. Might have. I think that's really going to be it. Attack over, main phase 2. You don't really do much else if you didn't do it in main phase 1. I think that's pretty much going to be Triff's turn here. Typhoon is very, very reliant on a good top deck at this point to see what he can like try and do to overcome this Bardish. If he can get a normal summon, 
If he gets a normal summon here, he's in a really strong position. Because he can instantly make Electromite with his uh, normal summon. And then still have scales to pen him summon with. Because he opted not to make it last turn, he still does have access to it. Yep. Any normal summon would be extremely powerful here. And, well, uh, no, uh, we're just uh, pending one, that's unfortunate. Gonna go for the Zephraxton, so he can use this to target his Zephranoi and the back row. It will force out the fog blade, and then that means the Electromite will go through. He has the Divine Strike for the uh, fog blade anyway, but that's really he won't not be using, using it on using that. It. He's gonna be using Providence to save his Zephranoi so he can make the Electromite. Exactly. Just thinking about how he's going to be responding to the Zephraxaton here. Think, go, 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 go. Tefun is getting a bit bored. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, just past midnight here in uh, in Europe, so <laughs> it's gone it's, anyway. Yep. He's right. It is gone regardless of what he's There we go. So he's going to Trif opting not to chain it, so instead Tefun banishes his Providence Protecting. to save his Sephranoi. Yep, he needs to do make that. that Electromite. He needs to do that because he hasn't seemed to have drawn a normal summon. Electromite's gonna be able to send any card here. Um, not really sure what you send. Post Pendulum Summon, there isn't really much you can send that's useful after you've committed. Committed. It's probably yeah. just setting up for next turn. Try and getting a draw and get some resources. Make sure that he can survive the next push for uh, by Triff, depending on what he's top decked. He is going Gets to send Chronograph. chronograph. To his extra deck. Yeah. So it, he might not have drawn a normal summon, but he might have drawn a level 5 or higher that he will be able to special summon off of this Chronograph. Checking out uh, Typhoon's extra deck here. No 6s at all. You know, he does play a 7, but I don't think he's going to be able to access it here. As a Chronograph, he uses Chrono. So he's going to well, use Chrono Chain Link gonna... 2 with Electromite as Chain Link 1. There we go. So let's see, is Chrono going to summon the other card in his hand, or is it just going to summon itself? Yep, Ooh, it always Cerberus. did draw Cerberus. Oh, that's big. Monster. That's, that's so important. He draws a normal summon here. He has a Borrel, uh, he has a borrel Sword play. Yeah, I'm not sure game. if it's the correct play. I, I think if he had a normal it, summon, we would have seen it by now. A normal summon would be game, actually. Yeah, I think it is more yeah, than it. The Master Cerberus would just be a lot of damage. Any normal summon would have won. T well, maybe it wouldn't have won him the game because there is the fog wood in the graveyard. Oh sure, yeah. So maybe not so much game. You I don't think Zephyr Divine Strike can negate graveyard f effects. Of so traps. What's in What's in Triff's hand then? Like he didn't pin yeah, him. He definitely he has an Oaf Dragon. Dragon. Certain, he definitely has an Oaf Dragon. Interesting. So the and normal, he didn't summon, normal summon. Either. So yeah, it's he, it's, it's interesting. It was not an, it is not an ogre because Electromite did not get ogred. It's Ooh, not Veiler because Electromite like, did not get Veiler. What if it's like the Mare Mare or something? No, he wouldn't have put it in going fresh, surely. It's likely a level... F mm, it, it, in fact, if it was level 4 or lower, it might have seen a normal summon. It's not entirely sure at this point. It's probably a hand trap, right? Like Veiler? But, I mean, I suppose he, he would have used it by He now. would have Veilered Electromite, maybe, certainly. Maybe something useless like Droll that I see in his list here. Hmm, that would be unfortunate. Uh... I really know what to really draw off that Electromite. He has the one negate with the set Divine Strike right now, but he can't deal with the scales. <clears throat> he doesn't want to deal with the scales, I don't think. Yeah. Might want to just leave him locked under that Garuda if he can. Yeah, that, that Garuda is really screwing over Triff in this situation. Triff really unable to use it because he has another scale. Is he performing a Link Summon here? Oh, he's going to oh, link yes. it away. Boro Sword is going to come out. Borrow sword. Hmm, that's interesting. Borrow sword. Why do you think he's going for borrow sword? I feel like he had more. He pressure I think he's, he's trying to put Triff on a clock. Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna attack this Bardish. Turn the chronograph to defense. Attack it again. Just taking three thousand. Yeah, that because uh, borrow oh, sword right, yeah, games. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Borrow sword, turn Chrono to defense. And he's going to attack over. Are, are the numbers uh, okay because of the harmonizing? Uh, Triff should not be taking life points right now. Yeah. yeah. Because he has to change it to defense world and kill it with in defense. <clears throat> the other card yeah, is harmonizing. Gate Zero. Uh, no, his Gate Zero is banished from Allure Darkness. Yeah. Okay. 
The other card is a card he top decked for turn. We know off dragon. Um, and two unknowns. And two unknowns at this point. Moral Sword and Zephyr Defined Strike, no high scale. Triff has a Garuda still stuck there. So is Kronos. And he's gone through his Electromite too. Yeah, he has gone through Electromite. He does that have that Gamma Fortnite. on turn one. The Gamma on turn one, putting in can just trap in that Garuda there. Yep. Really putting Triff at a detriment. Rescue play by Triff to put the Garuda in there, but I guess he didn't really have much options. Uh, no, he, does... he he can he can't use Karuda's pendulum effect because has to have he has to have no other card in his pendulum zone. Yeah. yeah. Pendulum summoning two chronograph and Oaf. and the Oaf Dragon. The Oaf Dragon we finally see all in defense. Oaf Dragon no targets in the graveyard. Checking out his extra deck here to see if he wants to bring out. Uh, oh no, he can't bring out anything from his extra because the scales there. He has the fog plate in the graveyard, so he still has access to Bardish if he needs it. And he's going to set a monster. This Ooh, is... We need That's to build good. a wall. <laughs> Treff unable to out Boral Sword, having to go defensive. If Tafin has scale to here. draw a high scale, and he's <clears throat> in a really good position. This is... This is technically four interruptions. I don't know if I'd call it negates, but... Ooh, Trif doesn't have, Tafin doesn't have anything. Tafin, unfortunately, unable to do anything here. Oh, not capitalizing up there. Abductor is the set card. Um... Not sure what Trif can draw here. He yeah. might... Oh, he may draw a normal summon, normal summon it, and make a Borrow Lord Dragon, but that would just lose out to Divine Strike. Divine Strike, yeah. I don't think he plays Borrow Lord, does he? I think he's. I think I oh, saw. Oh, he does. It. He does. Yeah, he yeah. does play Borrow Loads. Okay. Um, but it would just lose to the Vine Strike, unfortunately. Three monsters in defense here. He has a rank six play if needed, but that's probably going to be completely useless for. Ra uh, he does have uh, Phoenix and Cerberus. He's playing uh, the full Nightmare Package and Unicorn as well. Well, actually, I guess Borrow Load doesn't lose to Strike that hard because you would just use Borrow Load to reduce Borrow Sword by 500. Oh. Borrow, borrow sword can't be destroyed by battle, I forgot. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It isn't very good for Triff right now. No, not at all. Even if he drew a normal summon. Uh, I really don't know what he can draw. Like, it's it's really just this Garuda that's uh, being annoying right now. But at the same time, I don't really see his extra deck having much options uh, at, at this point. As soon as Tefun draws an 8 scale, I think it's looking it's... over for Triff. Yeah, it's not looking too good for him at all. Yeah, that Borrow Sword opening up two zones. It's really not looking good. Uh, Naruto is a dark indeed, yes. No, it's a light actually. Huh, okay. D light spellcaster. <clears throat> Purple Poison would be clutch, <laughs> yeah, if he drew that. Oh, so we're making a play. That chronograph, two, two chronographs going same. to the extra deck. Probably going for the Phoenix, or... Yep, that's a Phoenix. Pitching a Dragon Shrine, hitting the Divine Strike. He's probably just going to have to use likely going to have to chain yeah. that, so he doesn't get the draw and the... Oh, changing the target to the scale. <laughs> I think you chain this so he doesn't get the draw. Yeah, Is the it... draw could be really big. Do you not need to be calling to a Nightmare, just calling to general? Just calling just call to general. Him. You'll get a draw and he'll like, get rid of your scale. He's popping zero because he doesn't want Tafin to activate the Divine Strike. <laughs> Whereas if you ch target the Divine Strike, he's obviously going to chain it. Yeah. So uh, it's kind of a rather obvious thing to hear that he just did, but Tafin's going to chain the Divine Strike regardless. Uh, there's Chet's in the chat here. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. yeah. Different yeah. names. Uh, different names. Triff, it doesn't really matter to, anyway. He's going to penalize everything. Yeah. 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 Triff, you need to change It'll the materials just... that you use to make the Phoenix. It, doesn't really matter that much, but yeah. It you, doesn't you, matter, yeah. You, They're all just for those. Because <clears throat> he's obviously just penned them something. So basically, when he pens someone's back chrono, uh, you just swap the off into the extra monster zone instead of the... <clears throat> <clears throat> Typhoon, can you tell him to join the waiting room as well? Oh yeah, <laughs> my bad. Same shit. Yeah, basically, the off will be in the extra monster zone and the... Chrono will be on the field. Is the only difference that this will make. Triff forgetting the requirements of a Link to Monster that's been around for a year. <laughs> Weird. Oh, this is so clutch. This is so clutch. All right. Again, yeah, to solve this, probably just swap the 
chrono and the off. But in fact, it doesn't matter because you could depend on the off where the chrono yeah. is. Yeah, it's really unimportant. Yeah, it's it's not it's not a big deal. It all, it, it makes it, um, it all adds up anyway um, to the same situation. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Again, Tefun looking for the eight scale. The eight scale. Mm -hmm. yeah. Triff can't borrow load with Bardish, Jason. If you weren't such a fucking specky idiot, you would read Bardish's text and see that it can't be used as Stop a language. Stop texting scale. Typhoon finally getting the 8 scale. That's it. <laughs> uh, that is it. That's the, that might be GG here, boys. It's about to pend it up. So uh, it's Pendulum, he has, he has a Chrono, a Zephraxaton, and a Dark Worm to choose from. Oh god. Oh, Going for Zephraxaton oh, and Dark Worm. And the Janky from his push. hand. This should be game. Show's over, folks. Yep, that is that is more than that is six thousand damage on the board. That's GG. Battle phase attack, GG. <sighs> Tefun Baractor. After the that hand god. <laughs> After that horrible start, Tefun has turned it around. I think he's won. It, uh, there's nothing else he can do here. That's it. Like, scoop it up. Like, he's sending the monsters. He said it as soon as he drew for turn. That's it. <laughs> oh, All right, Triff, get yourself on Discord. Join the waiting room. Come on. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? Do no, we have no. some last minute drama? Who did dark? Oh, God. Do do we have some do we have some luck? Nani? <laughs> oh no! The dark the dark worm's on nineteen hundred, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Tefun has his own harmonizing the magician in the extra deck. <laughs> he was about to go for the shark last <laughs> second, but it didn't matter because Tefun has his own harm in the extra. <laughs> he still has the bardish in the graveyard. Oh yeah! Oh, we're counting them out too too soon. Well, it doesn't matter because the the borals, yeah, in fact, yeah, Borl, just... Borl would, yeah, Borl sword does more than three k over it. Yeah, so can't summon Bardish in defense mode, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Replay attack anyway. Oh, the life points in zero. Typhoon is your new Typhoon taking it four to three. I have never seen such a close and intense game. That is crazy. Triff, Typhoon, I need you guys on Discord. Holy shit. That is it. GG, boys. GG.